Hi. Today, I would like to talk about an area, a part of Lender that has been a bit of uh, mixed feelings in the community because it wasn't put to use until now. It was added a few weeks ago, months ago even, and it wasn't used. It's a status bar, this bar at the bottom of Lender that is sort of like the global top bar, but it's meant to uh, house like stats and help and basically work around the context where you are and give you nice useful information but uh, until now it was completely empty so yes i understandable they it, it didn't have a it was more annoying than than it helping but there are two changes that happened yesterday one of them is the, the it's now more narrow it, uh, it's less tall actually so it uses less space and it's actually showing some information now, more than, the, than just the, the statistics of your file. So at the bottom, we see that it has the stats just like before, but now it has three sections in the, on the left side that are for, they're context sensitive and show you what you can do with your mouse, what you can do with the left click, middle click and right click. And also what happens if you drag. So it's a, it's a great help if you're learning, but also if you just need to, to remember what you're doing and uh, to discover new things. So if you're in the 3D viewport with your mouse on, and um, if you have left mouse, uh, right click select, <laughs> the default, it will, you will see that it says, okay, so the 3D cursor, set 3D cursor, um, first then rotate view with the middle click, and then it will say um, uh, activate select for the right click. This is uh, this will change, of course, if you have um, if you have left click select. If you're one of those crazy people, you see it has the um, middle left mouse for selection, and then it's the opposite for setting the the cursor. So that um, is respected, of course, and it also changes when you have uh, modifiers pressed. So if you're doing, you're, for example, if I hold Shift, I will have mode view with the middle mouse button. If I hold control, I will have lasso select. So then instead of just doing the action, you can actually read beforehand. Then you do, middle, you do zoom with the middle click and then alt also shows you and the activate select. This is uh, context sensitive. So it also works depending on which um, um, editor you are. In the text editor, it will show you some things. In the node editor, it will show you other things such as, for example, if you do Control. If you hold Shift, or if you hold Control, and then you start drawing, this, for example, doesn't show that you can cut. But that is just a matter of tweaking the operators to um, to to say, like, okay, this one maybe is not very clear, so we can just tweak the operators to show that you can Control and draw a line to cut the wires. So this is a bit of a case by case, but in general, it's I think it's a great great help because then that way. It's a bit, um, it's a bit more helpful, and in the future, it could also have more bigger tooltips. So, for the time being, another thing that is being put there is the um, the instructions for some operators, or when you are, for example, rotating, the information that it will be, it used to be displayed in the three D viewport header now is displayed on the status bar, which I think it's much better because if you had like a small um, viewport or just a very narrow one and you had tools, for example, if you have, uh, let's go to the cube and for example, the um, um, look cut select has these nice instructions that, se that say select a ring to be cut use mouse wheel, if you are doing like shift F for navigation, you have this very long description about what you can do. This has to be, like the text has to be improved, but at least it now fits. I have the, the interface a bit bigger here, but in a 1080, um, in a regular size um, window, it should fit. If you're here and then I do shift F, then it fits. So of course the text can be shorter, the, the L LMB can be replaced with an icon, so it can still be improved, but at least it doesn't show up anymore in the, th in the header of the 3D view, which it would depend on how big your 3D view was. So that's another big improvement. It also shows uh, notifications. So for example, this one is popping out right under me. <laughs> 
And uh, I think that needs to be a bit more clear. We need to show the notification somewhere else or more prominent because when we hide, like if you choose to hide the status bar, it's not possible now, but if you choose to, to hide the status bar, which will be possible, then uh, where do you show notifications? You know, we have to show them somewhere. So uh, maybe we can think about where to put them, like on a website that it appears in a corner somewhere. So yeah, this is all uh, being worked is right now in the Blender 2.8 branch. So go try it. And uh, a little addendum to what I uh, showed yesterday in the video of the quick menus. Some people were asking, hey, doesn't it doesn't work to add modifiers. So for example, if I add a Boolean modifier here, or like, let's see, something like, mask modifier. You can actually do it and you can add it to the favorites, but it's going to, uh, it depends on the, on the uh, editor that you're in. So Q works here to work to add the modifier, but work around. Maybe we can see a way to solve this is maybe corner case, but work around to do this. It's just, uh, just use search hmm. and use modifiers. For example, search for the for the add modifier operator. And then you can just add it from here. So I can add, for example, array, I can add um, the subserve and mirror. So if I have my mesh, I can from here just press Q and then mirror, subserve, array. So all from the viewport without, I can do a full screen without actually entering. And it's that is pretty, pretty useful. The same, I've been using it today for um, for notes. So for example, I use some notes a lot. So like the color ramp, I use it all the time or just some textures that you're a fan of and you have to go and dig through it. You can just uh, add it, right click from the menu, right, um, add it to the quick menu and then you can just press Q and add all the color ramps you ever wanted. And it works all over the place. You can do it here for like, for example, if you have some specific um, setting that you want to use on your on your on your queue menu, you can just add it there. So, in the case of, for example, the exclude option is a bit hidden here, and it's really useful when you're setting up your view layers. Maybe we can expose it better, but that that's one case. Or, for example, um, for some edge data that is now in this uh, menu, you can choose the ones that you use more often. So for example, Mark Scene, Mark Sharp, and Freestyle. And then they will appear here when you're in edit mode because it's mode dependent. So, okay, <laughs> this video was about the status bar. Now I made it a little bit into the quick favorites, but I, I just wanted to share this. Go play with Blender 2.8. And if you want to support it, join the Blender Development Fund or join the Blender Cloud. Either way, uh, we're gonna make a better video with it because now I'm not even showing like links or anything. Just, just mentioning that you can still support the code quest when it ends the day after tomorrow. <laughs> the code quest ends, but the development continues. I will see you again. And the videos will continue too. Don't stop saying that uh, what happens, what happens. I'm gonna make more videos, don't worry. Um, the con development continues to happen, so I will. I, I want to stay in, in up to date. So I'm gonna make videos just to learn and to share with the world. This is these videos have proven to work a lot, very well for Blender as PR and also to keep people updated. I will see you again in the next video. Yes, ciao.